It goes without saying that we live in a data-driven society, a world where information sculpts and architects almost every aspect of the world around us. In a certain sense, we live in a world of pattern recognition. Now, if you did a Venn diagram of these kind of patterns and think about democracy over here, extractive resources over here, and the human imagination over here, all of those overlap in a way that there's a collision between code and culture. Now, think about, for example, your average Google search, give or take, generates about enough electricity to boil a cup of water. Now, imagine that at an exponential scale across the planet, and imagine that everyone who's searching and Googling and doing all the possible Facebook posts or Instagram or TikTok, the sheer volume of electricity that requires is mind-boggling. The internet essentially generated the entire data-driven world that we now inhabit. And eerily enough, if you start to think about how much energy that all takes, uh, the idea of data centers, whether it be Facebook, Google, Amazon, you name it, all of those are places where there's a collision between how we think about extractive resources and how renewables can help us get better tools for rethinking and reimagining another world that's possible. Now, to me at least as an artist, a writer, a creative, that means that we've moved further and further into the creative economy. we have to rethink and reimagine the possibilities that renewables have not only sculpted and shaped a new path, but let's put it this way. The imagination is the ultimate renewable resource. And if we start to rethink how the 20th century's relationship to the 21st works, it means that data and a data-driven society is in direct uh, collision with democracy and the climate crisis. Darwin had a very famous phrase where he said, it's not the fastest or the strongest that survive, but the ones most adaptable to change. If we start to rethink and reimagine what's possible, the critical catalyst here is critical thinking. We really need to move out of the idea of the, the economy of scarcity and give people better ways to reimagine their relationship to renewable. We're in a paradox, and how much energy does it all take? The answer is up to us all to kind of rethink our relationship to the world of reimagining and remaking and remixing what is possible.